Hi, in my videos, I discuss about the basic graph theory and algorithms. And in today's video, I will discuss about uh, the complete bipartite graphs. Okay. And we will uh, quickly go through the definition of bipartite graphs firstly. Actually, in a previous video, I have already discussed about, discussed about the bipartite graphs and some important examples of bipartite graphs. So, for clear concept on bipartite graphs, I will suggest you to go through this video and I will put the link of that video in the description box. And now we will uh, go through the uh, definition of bipartite graphs firstly. So, any graph G is called a bipartite graph if the vertex set of G that is we denote the vertex set of G by V. So, if V can be partitioned into two parts, okay. So, V can be partitioned into two parts say V1 and V2 so that no two vertex from the same part will be adjacent. So, no two vertex from V1 will be adjacent and no two vertex of V2 will be adjacent. Okay, so we will uh, see one example for this uh, definition. So, let us take this graph on four vertices. Okay, so let us say these vertices are A, B, C and D and the edges are E1, E2, E3 and E4. Then it will be a bipartite graph. Why? We can take two parts like this A and C are uh, one part, let us say this is V1, okay, and this B and D, these two vertex are in the second part, say V2. So, we had basically the vertex set, V was uh, A, B, C and D, whereas V1 is, whereas V1 is uh, this A and C and V2 is b and d right so now no two vertex of v1 that is a and c are not adjacent and no two vertex of v2 are adjacent that is b and d these two vertex are not adjacent okay so this is a uh, this is an example of bipartite graphs so now our definition for complete bipartite graph is that a graph g will be called a complete bipartite graph if the vertex set of g that is v uh, can be partitioned into two parts so that each vertex of one part it is adjacent to each vertex of the other part okay so uh, basically here the vertex set v firstly since it is complete bipartite it is firstly bipartite so the vertex set must be uh, it should be divided uh, partitioned into two parts say v1 and v2 then only it will be a bipartite graph graph first all first of all right so then this v can be partitioned into two parts v1 and v2 so that each vertex of v1 is adjacent to each vertex of v2 okay so let's say here we have three vertices and here we have two vertices then each vertex will be adjacent to here each vertex okay so here no vertices are adjacent then only uh, it will be a uh, bipartite graph so first of all it has to be a bipartite graph okay uh, if the vertex set uh, can be partitioned into uh, two parts so that each vertex of one part is adjacent to each vertex of the other part and also no two vertex or vertices no, no two vertices of the same part are adjacent it is must right because otherwise it will not be a bipartite graph so no question about complete bipartite graph will arise then so no two vertices of the same part are adjacent okay so we have to see some example on this uh, complete bipartite graph right so we'll discuss firstly the simplest example okay the simplest example so let us take this example with uh, two vertices right since it is a bipartite graph so there must be at least two parts so and each part are uh, non empty right because in each vertex um, part there must be at least one vertex so uh, there must be at least two vertex okay so for any bipartite graph the minimum number of vertex must be two okay so otherwise uh, the uh, otherwise we cannot consider two part okay so two non empty parts uh, for two non empty parts we must have at least 
two vertices let's say a and b and each vertex of this part v1 this is v1 and this is v2 and each vertex of v1 is adjacent to each vertex of v2 so this a and b will be adjacent so it is the simplest uh, example of uh, complete bipartite graph and we denote the complete bipartite graph uh, by k m n if uh, the um, number of vertices in the two parts be m and n respectively right so we have to denote this notation then we will discuss uh, some more examples also so notation is that if uh, the uh, vertex set v can be partitioned into two parts with m and n number of vertices then we denote and and also is uh, if this uh, graph be by complete bipartite and this graph be complete bipartite bipartite with these parts then this is de this graph is denoted by kmn okay so what is the uh, condition that g the, the vertex set of g is firstly v1 uh, firstly v and then we have v1 and v2 the, and this cardinality of v1 is cardinality of v1 is m say and cardinality of v2 is n okay so this v1 has m vertices and this v2 has n vertices and this v is complete bipartite graph with these two vertices these two vertex set that is uh, each vertex of v1 is adjacent to each vertex of v2 and no vertices of v1 or v2 are adjacent in themselves then it is denoted by k m n okay for complete graphs we we had seen that the notation was k k n right for uh, a complete graph on n vertices and since here we have two parts with different number of vertices so it is denoted by k m n okay so now we'll discuss some more examples so let us take an example of uh, five vertices okay or let us take four vertices firstly so four vertices let us take um, that is cardinality of v we are taking four so there are four vertices and we are taking two parts one with th three vertices and another with one vertices one vertex right then our v1 is this one and our v2 is this one so according to the definition of complete bipartite graph if we want to uh, consider this to be a complete bipartite graph then what uh, the no notation will be so for this graph the notation will be k3 comma 1 since there are three points here and one point here so and all the this uh, and there will be no edge between these three vertices and each vertex here will be adjacent to this uh, vertex in v2 so there will be these three adjacencies and it is our k3 k3 comma 1 graph we can uh, conclude and now with the same four vertices we can consider another complete bipartite graph how so we can take here in v1 we can take two vertices okay so here so it was an uh, a different example for us it was a different example okay and here we had these to be v2 and these to be v1 okay and now we are considering another example with four the same four vertices but here we have two vertex in this first set and in the second set that is it is v1 and it is v2 and here also we have two vertices so this is one vertex set and this is another one then uh, according to the definition no these two vertices will not be adjacent these two vertices will not be adjacent but this will be adjacent to this and these adjacencies will be there right then it will be what k22 because each part now contains only two vertices right 
so now we will consider another graph with the same four vertices right so now we will consider this graph that here in v1 we have only one vertex and in v2 there are three vertices right because we have to consider partitions on this graph uh, on this uh, vertex set so the vertex set has four points so we have to consider all the possible partitions right so we will show that only these three possibilities will be there uh, so now if v1 have only one vertex and v2 have three vertices then this v1 uh, the, uh, these three vertices will not be adjacent in themselves and this vertex will be adjacent to all of them so this graph will get and we can check actually that our first graph k31 and it is k13 right k13 and it was our k301 so k3 in we can uh, observe the structures of k31 and k13 so this structure and this structure are actually same we can check because here also we have uh, we have this vertex and uh, in one part and this three vertex in the other part and here is also the same so we are just in the we are just uh, denoting interchanging the vertex at v1 and v2 nothing else is done okay so this k31 and this k13 are same graphs right so we can have now one remark on this regard so in general we can conclude that uh, for any integers m and n this k m n and k n m are same okay so that is if uh, the total number of vertex is m plus n okay so cardinality of v vertex set of g is m plus n then if we consider the k m n graph then the uh, v1 part of the vertex set it contains m number of points okay so here we have m number of points and in v2 there we have n number of points okay and in it is and all these vertex of v1 are adjacent to all the vertex of uh, this v2 in that case uh, this type of graph it will be so this type of graph it will be and uh, for k uh, if we consider the and all all these adjacencies will be there actually okay and for k nm we will have this v1 and v2 and here the number of vertices will actually interchange so here v1 will have n number of vertices and v2 will have m number of vertices so everything will be the will be same just for just here we are considering the vertex set to be v1 v2 and here we are considering v2 v1 we can we can say like this so these two graphs will ultimately be the same graph as we have already seen for uh, the case of k31 and 13 for k31 and k13 we have uh, shown it explicitly but for any mn it will actually hold okay so now we can similarly uh, construct complete uh, tripartite graph or complete multipartite graphs also for tripartite and multipartite graphs i have already discussed the definition in the previous video i will say, uh, attach the link of this uh, video on the description box in the description box and you must check out this one and so for tripartite complete tripartite graph we have to say for complete tripartite graph the same concept will work okay so the same concept will be work just as we had here for bipartite case we had two parts v1 and v2 here we will have three parts of the vertex it say v1 v2 and v3 v1 v2 and v3 and each vertex of the same part uh, like no two vertex of the same part will be adjacent and each vertex of one part will be adjacent to all other vertices of the other all other parts okay so if we have one vertex that we, we first have to uh, consider the simplest example here also so uh, we are considering the minimal graph okay so each vertex set say has one point only so then uh, this v1 this point this vertex must be adjacent to uh, the vertices of the other parts so it will be adjacent to this one and this one and this will be also adjacent to this one already we have and 
or with this one so no other adjacencies will be there so it is a tripartite graph complete tripartite graph we will uh, as uh, we will consider another example for clear concept so firstly let uh, these three parts and this part has two points this this part has two vertices and this also have two vertices then what will be the, uh, the complete tripartite graph on the, these three parts so this vertex will be adjacent to these two and these two also so four adjacencies and this will also be adjacent to all the four vertices of the other parts okay and now these two vertex will be adjacent to them and this so this will be complete tripartite graph okay and we denote here uh, as as the previous notation was k k m n for the complete bipartite graph here the notation will be uh, actually k here the notation will be k m n p right so here we have two vertex on each part so it will be k 2 2 2 and it will be k 1 1 1 right and similarly we can consider complete multipartite graphs also so i am not discussing this concept and it, it is actually similar to this concept right uh, as we have uh, here taken three parts we can take more parts also and the same concept will work that no two vertex from the same part will be adjacent and each vertex from each part will be adjacent to each other vertex of each each vertex of each other parts so this will be the definition and similarly we can consider multipartite graphs so if you like my videos please like and share and uh, for more videos from me on graph theory you please subscribe to my channel thank you